Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to FSD Pharma's channel on the forefront of a psychedelic renaissance and, you know, helping change lives in novel ways. Joining us is Anthony, the Chief Executive Officer. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you, man. So we have so much uh, we're diving into today, and we're going to kick this off by first and foremost, the forefront in conversation, in my opinion, as you guys released a video discussing the positive effects of lucid MS in treating multiple sclerosis in preclinical models. Now, this is just really intriguing and something that's just being applied really differently in the psychedelic sector. So kind of just give us some insights here. Sure. So so th this is um, uh, preclinical trials. These, these are videos that were taken uh, in, in the lab and, and a few years ago, in fact, we're, we're comfortable showing them now. Um, you know, typically you don't want to show all of your hand when it comes to, to being um, cognizant of, of uh, uh, giving up too much to, to possible competition. So we haven't, but even what we're showing is something that I believe is game changing and was one of the reasons why we ended up acquiring Lucid uh, in the first place is because um, this is something that I've never seen before. Um, you know, the ability to to, to give um, animals, you know, back the ability to walk or their mobility uh, when they had lost it. And that's what's totally unique about this, that uh, today in, in MS uh, and with patients that have MS, all the treatments in the current drugs um, do not reverse the damage that's been done. They typically help prolong the damage from happening, but they just don't reverse it. So this was, in, in our opinion, something that was, uh, was game changing and has, has tremendous potential. Yeah, truly novel. And leading up to our discussions here, I mean, you kind of mentioned uh, how pronounced your team is that you're working with, because I noticed that you appointed a world-renowned immunologist expert, Dr. Eleanor Fish. You kind of added a new regulatory advisory board as well. You want to just briefly discuss what's going on there? Yes, it, it's, you know, it's having having the best people and, uh, you know, to execute on on um, phase trials is, is critical. And, and so having the human resources that are best in class is something that we're, we're, we're trying to achieve. And, and, you know, if you look at the resumes of anyone now that we've announced or even on our website and you look at the um, advisory board and, uh, and, and some of the people that now we've, we've been able to bring on and, and are honored to have them uh, help us through the phase process, I'm feeling much more comfortable that, you know, we're, we're uh, in excellent hands and we'll continue to, to look at expanding uh, the firm where we need where we need uh, uh, help. Yeah, that's great to hear, Anthony. Um, and on that note, uh, let's talk a little bit about the financials. I mean, you guys dropped your interim and it's kind of entertaining at where your market cap currently trades because it's pretty close to your uh, underlying asset value here. I mean, you guys are sitting on 68 million in assets, 8 million liabilities and a good chunk of that, 39 million being in cash. Do you want to just briefly talk about maybe perhaps your cash spend a little bit, 2022 guidance, just what sure. people can expect from the company here? Yeah, tw 2022 will be very active here. We'll... we'll uh... We intend on engaging on the phase two trials for our one drug candidate, FSD PA. We will um, begin our, our phase one trials for uh, both Lucid MS and Lucid Psych will be the timeline. Um, in, in terms of the cash spend, I mean, we can take all three totally through. We have enough cash for sure to get us into 2024. Uh, and, you know, at, at this point when we're trading at, um, you know, current asset value and, and we're really not seeing any enterprise value associated with the stock, you know, we wouldn't go out and raise at, at this level, no matter what, it just doesn't make economic sense. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep very busy. It'll be an action packed year on, on the biotech side for us in 2022. And, and we're fully, fully funded to get through uh, a few years. So. Lots of blue skies to look forward to here, man. I love hearing this stuff and hopefully the retail audience does as well. I appreciate your time today, Anthony. Thank you very much. On that note, folks, if you ever have any questions, never hesitate to let us know what you think in that comment section below. And maybe we could have a psychedelic Q&A with Anthony here down the road as well. But stay cool, stay awesome, and I look forward to catching you in the next one.